research is starting to show more connections between blood clots and people who die from COVID-19. To learn more about this virus that's not even a year old yet, researchers are doing autopsies on COVID patients, but you might be surprised to know autopsies are not being performed on most people who die from the coronavirus here, Greg. It is big news. When Channel 9's Lauren Seabrook found that out, she started asking how it's possible to know for sure that someone even died from COVID-19. Autopsies are helping doctors understand exactly what's causing people to die either from or with COVID-19. So we wanted to know what autopsies around our area are showing, but we quickly learned there's not very many happening. We've been telling you in recent weeks about the blood clotting issues patients with COVID-19 are developing, but a new study shows it may be even more significant than originally thought. A pathologist at NYU Medical Center who expected to find clots in the lungs says autopsies are showing clots in almost every organ of the body. Orange and Osceola Chief Medical Examiner Dr. Joshua Stephanie looked at the study, but he says there's not enough information to know if the clots were caused by COVID. Because you also have to remember, a lot of these people are in the hospital, are in the hospital for prolonged periods of time. And what is one of the number one worries when you're in the hospital and you're in bed in your bedroom for a long time? blood clots, no matter what disease you're in there for. For uniformity and reporting, the governor's state of emergency forced medical examiners in Florida to take over COVID cases. So I asked if Dr. Stephanie was seeing blood clot issues in autopsies here. But he says they're not really doing autopsies on COVID-19 patients. He says the deceased are already diagnosed with COVID by the time he gets their case. And nearly all have prior medical issues. So I asked how he knows if someone dies with COVID-19 or from it. It's kind of a constellation of everything together. So if someone's got hypertension, coronary disease, diabetes, how do you know which one did it? So they all intermingle or interplay, and then that COVID comes in and just could be the straw that broke the camel's back. Dr. Stephanie says if a family would like to have their loved one autopsied, they can either request it privately or through the hospital. He says it's really only necessary if there is a question about how they died. In Orange County, Lauren Seabrook, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.